Good evening. My name is Michael and I would like to welcome new and familiar faces here for the celebration. Today Father Chris Field celebrates Mass with us. Something to think about today and during the week. Sometimes obeying God seems like the hardest road to take. But in the long run, it is the lifestyle that brings real peace and genuine joy in your life. Please stand as you sing together.
O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who, for the faith they profess, are accounted Christians, the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive after all that does it honour. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. <coughs>
all who come to him will live forever. Sort of time, isn't it? 
it's a, a time where uh, you're praying that it's a nice frosty morning and a nice sunny day so you can get out and prune the roses. I'm up to my fourth garden pruning now, and I only prune four gardens, so don't put your hand up for any more help. And, uh, but it's also, it's a great time. In the last eight years at the Cathedral Presbytery, I really haven't had a good garden to dig to, to put my favourite bulbs in. So, um, at the front door of the presbytery now, it's all dug over nicely, and about six weeks ago, I planted my favourite uh, ranuncular and anemone bulbs, or balls, <laughs> my crazy things, aren't they? And it's all very exciting, just waiting for them. And so, in the midst of the depth of the winter, when we've got gloomy days and it's raining and it's cold and frosty mornings, well, I'm sort of going out there and sort of looking at the ground and thinking what's happening, what's happening. And, uh, and then all of a sudden, yesterday, in some of my pots, uh, which have been uh, overplanted with primulas and pansies and pollies, all our winter peas for spring, um, I, there was a piece of paper, so I pulled it out. And underneath it, I thought, I saw, oh, what's that weed? And I was just about going to whip it out, and I thought, oh, hang on, what's that? And it was one of my, um, what else have we got planted? So many bulbs. Uh, Freesias, it was a freesia, just starting to poke its little head through. And well, you get rather excited, don't you? And I thought, oh, I've started. And then I had a wee look around the other pots. And then there was a little anemone, you're just about a millimetre through the pot. And uh, it's all starting again. It's wonderful, that, that the garden and that whole seasonal thing that we in uh, nice cold climates for winter can experience. For those in, uh, in the tropics, it's, it's a bit boring, I believe. Uh, it's more exciting to be a gardener in, in the, the, the north and south of the world. And this is what Jesus is talking about here in his parable today. He is speaking of the word. And it's his faith that he's, he's scattering. And we, we've all received the faith. And, uh, and we're here now because of it. And we are the one who are producing uh, the fruits of the, of the harvest a hundredfold. But sometimes we fall back. Sometimes it's only fiftyfold. Sometimes it's only thirtyfold. And uh, those are the times when our, our faith does a wee dip. And uh, we're a bit annoyed with God or... Or we're a bit annoyed with the priest in this holiday is too long, or whatever. And, and, uh, and it's a great gospel for ourselves. It's a gospel um, which gives praise to those who have received the gift of faith in beautiful soil. They keep it nourished. And we keep our faith nourished by, uh, by doing the things of God. By simply coming to Mass each Sunday, each weekend. Um, by trying to remember our prayers, by trying to remember to be good to the neighbour next door, uh, by doing all the things that Jesus would want us to do. If he came into the church tonight, he'd be saying, why not try a bit of this, that and the other? And this is what we're all doing now. Um, I know many of you have family members who don't go to church anymore, and it's always, oh, Father, you know, Joanne doesn't go to church anymore, and whatever. Well, they've still received the faith. But it's, it, it, needs, it, it needs to be uh, matured sometimes as well. And uh, the gift of the faith is that beautiful gift that we have been given. And sometimes we can look at the other people who aren't coming to church, who we know should be coming to church, and we can just be a little bit sorry for them. We can pray for them. We can re-invite them back. Um, but it really... It, it, faith is one of those things, as we know. You, some of us have got it. I, I'm a gardener. I can grow anything. Except there's one thing I can't grow. What is it? Um, oh, there's one thing I can't remember. Um, but, but basically, that faith, we've got it. And we love our faith. And we, we, want to, we want more of it as well. Because it, sort of, it gives us the joy of life. And uh, we sometimes think if only that person, if only my brother, my sister or my auntie just could get a bit more of a spark of faith in their lives, that they would have more joy of life as well. 
Because it is great being uh, a person of faith, and uh, there's so much we can share, and uh, there's so much we can talk about as well, particularly Catholics with our great liturgy and our great store of history and saints and uh, all, all that. So let's pray that tonight through our Eucharist that our faith will um, continue to be uh, fulfilled. Uh, that the Lord will um, infill us with his Holy Spirit to uh, help us during these darker days, because sometimes winter are darker days for everyone, but there's always that um, hope of germination uh, of the faith that continues, and let's pray that that gift can be sown by our own words and actions in our own community, that it might reignite the faith of others in our town.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For well, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are, Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For well, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink.
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. We offer one another a sign of peace. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Friday, so look after our Father Do, um, who died in Tamuka. Uh, Dick Harrison, if you know Dick Harrison, J.A.'s JA's father died uh, this morning. His funeral is on Wednesday afternoon, I think. So let's keep the Harrisons in our family and our prayers as well. Uh, we have elections coming up. Um, if you'd like to nominate someone, uh, we would like to have those nominations in uh, next week, I think. And uh, if, you, if you come to Mass, or even if you don't come to Mass, but um, are sort of retired, uh, we're out for a few more volunteers for our um, Thursday taking communion to the sick and homebound. Um, it's a beautiful um, time that you have with those people. And uh, if you'd like to help out and be on a, a, a roster there, um, I'm sure Mrs. Brosnahan would be most grateful. So I'll make contact with Mary along the way if that is you. And we get a great funeral here for Tony Harbracken as well uh, during the week. Big full house here. It was, a, it was a great celebration of his life. Isabel. Oh, I mean Isabel. Yeah, so Tony's still alive. That's right. Sorry. I just saw his name. Me and my names. All right. Lovely to have you all here. Let's continue to pray that the Lord will um, grace us with his presence and as we continue to sow the seed of our faith in our community. Let's pray. Having consumed these gifts, O oh Lord, we pray that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Amen.